Hey, Ty, uh, you roll with Ibaka and Hartenstein together, and I'll wait till you get a sheet. I can hear you. All right. <laughs> <laughs> you roll with Ibaka and Hartenstein together for about 11 or 12 minutes today. I was kind of wondering, A, was that a byproduct of the lack of rotation guys, so you had to play them together, and B, what did you actually think of them together on the floor? Um, I thought it was pretty good. Um, we still got to work on it, you know, get our packages down, but um, I told them before the game, um, that's what I was going to do. I talked to my coaches over the last couple of days. And I just, just you know, the way Isaiah was playing for us was great. And to give Serge more minutes and give him an opportunity to be on the floor more. And so I wanted to take a look at it. And, um, you know, I thought they did a, did a nice job, you know. So we got to just continue to keep working on the packages and what we wanted to do defensively. But, you know, overall, I thought they did a decent job for the first time. Uh, first of all, can we, can we see more of those two uh, together moving forward? I know you talked about how Luke um, struggled to get going a bit early when Isaiah was off the court. What did you think about that specifically with Luke getting open and getting more involved? He got open, he just didn't make. PG didn't make. <laughs> Reggie didn't make. So, um, you know, Luke got, what, 10 threes? I think, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so he got 10 threes up, probably six or seven of them with really good looks. And um, so, you know, PG didn't shoot the ball well, neither did Reggie. So, to have the lead we had, um, to have a comfortable lead like that was good to see with those three guys, um, you know, struggling to make shots. Frustrated you had to get the starters back in towards the end there? Or? You said okay. what? I said, were you frustrated at all that you had to get kind of Reggie and PG some extra minutes here at the end? I really or? didn't want to, but my coach was like, we've got a lot of time left, but I really didn't care. I shouldn't have done it, but whatever. <laughs> Ty, uh, that, that first half looked like one of the most complete offense first halves uh, as far as – uh, the objectives that you put forth for the game, like what what did you feel like was a key to um, those 64 points you put up? Um, we made some shots. I thought we did a good job of getting into the paint and making the right play. Uh, we had a couple plays that we had the other day against Dallas, the same exact play on the one Marcus drove middle on a shot fake. He threw the lob bazoo, they stole it, and the guy was wide open. Same play today. He made the pass to Reggie, which Reggie didn't make. But just keeping it simple, I thought we did some good things offensively, like I said, in that first half. And the second half as well, you know, we just didn't, you know, PG had like five open threes that, you know, that could have, you know, put the game way out of reach. And Luke Kennard had a couple as well. So but that first half was, you know, 16 assists, moving the basketball, um, getting into the paint, making the right play. Um, that was good to see. Is, is that start that they have something that, like, you can ex you can expect him. Like, have you told him this is something that we try and get every game from him? Well, we just want him to be aggressive taking his shots, and he got us out to a great start. You know, especially a twelve thirty game where, in the past, you know, we haven't been as as good. You know, um, for him to get off to that good start for us, um, really was helpful. And especially the way you know PG struggled shooting the ball tonight, and Reggie as well in that first half. I thought Bled really, you know, um, gave us a lot of momentum to open us to start that game. Hi, you, you, all right, um, way over here. Um, you mentioned the 1230 starts. I mean, do you have a feeling as a coach when when your guys are going to start out the right way like that? And no, and also, no. does no? And, and obviously, you've got another big one coming up in a couple of days, another 1230 start against Oakland and or against the Golden State. Um, does this help you guys sort of get in the right mindset for these early starts? Um... <laughs> I don't know. I don't know about that. But, you know, I know we'll be ready to play on Sunday. You know, um, our guys will be ready to go. We'll be ready to play. You know, understanding that, you know, Golden State, the hottest team in the league right now with them in Phoenix, um, you know, um, the way they beat us up there, we had a good chance and a good opportunity. So we'll be ready to go on Sunday. Um, so 12-30 games shouldn't, shouldn't be a big, big problem because we know if we don't play the right way and compete the right way, then, you know, we can get embarrassed. So we'll be ready to go. Uh, Zoo was really good as a short roll passer today. Only had two assists, though, but obviously guys missed shots off his passes. What do you make of his development in that regard ever since you got here and allowed him to make those kind of decisions and stuff? Uh, well, it's something that we work on all the time. You know, PG and Kawhi being blitzed and, you know, hitting Zoo in the pocket and, and Zoo making the right read and, He's really, really gotten, he's really gotten um, good at it, you know, making the right play. And sometimes, you know, he passes up. He, I think he can finish, uh, you know, a few of those around the basket once a small point guard that's the low man. But um, he's really done a good job of developing, being able to make the right read and the right pass. Um, so we got to, you know, continue to keep getting better at it. All right.